Okay, so we are back again for installment number three of how to make your Land Rover better. Um, we got the brake pedal all situated. I have the steering column removed. I have the brake booster pretty well dialed in. I trimmed everything back. I'm pretty happy with the way it worked out. And now we're going to be working on the steering part of it. Um, the steering box has been removed and I have this laying here just more or less where I think it's going to go. Probably going to have to trim back this angle iron a bit to let this lay down a little bit more. Um, the other version I've seen of this conversion, this whole unit sits up in here and it doesn't look good to me. I mean, it looks like it's an aftermarket deal. This will be more hidden. Um, I probably will have to drill a small little hole here to allow this little corner to drop in there. Um, I can't rotate it this way because my battery box sits right here. And I gotta keep it below this height because that's where the fender will sit. But overall, I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Um, we have a short little shaft here and a transition transition piece, whoops. Um, next order of business is to rebuild the box. I have all the little parts from Roba North. Um, great place to get parts. Um, so I'm gonna crack this open and rebuild the box. And then I'll probably end up with a small little shaft piece here. And then a missing segment where the motor goes. And then a small little shaft from here up that ties into the original steering wheel. So short and sweet, and that's where we're at. If I learn how to edit, maybe I'll uh, merge a couple of these videos together. If I don't learn to edit, I will just post this and keep on chugging.